Dear learners, welcome to the Certificate in German Language program offered by Indira Gandhi National Open University through ODL mode. In this program, we are going to do some basic sessions related to BGL 001. In today's session, we are going to discuss greeting and leave taking in German. So, let us have a look at the objectives of this program. In this, the learner is introduced to four key skills of language learning. One also gets to understand how to learn a language in a foreign environment and the challenges related to the same. One will also get to learn alphabets in German, basic greeting words like good morning etc., asking well-being of the other person in German, in the same context use of ihnen and dear and at the end saying goodbye. Let us have a look at the four key skills of language learning. All the people who are into language learning know that listening, speaking, reading and writing are the four basic skills that one needs to work on. All the four are equally important. Working on these skills with respect to a foreign language aspect is crucial as learning a foreign language in an artificial setup brings some limitations. For example, one can practice the foreign language within the classroom only as one may usually not find the specific language speakers outside. So, at times it becomes a challenging job. Many times it is seen that the knowledge of the languages already known to us also play a crucial role in learning a foreign language. One tends to compare the structure, speaking style, pronunciation etc. with the languages already known. At times it is beneficial as one is able to relate and comprehend well. Though we must understand that every language has its specific structure, way of speaking etc. and the logic and method that applies for one language may not work for the other language. Therefore, one must be very careful in comparing the languages while trying to learn a new language. Now, let us have a look at the alphabets in German. We start from the beginning. It goes like this A, B, C, D, A, F, G, H, E, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, V, X, Epsilon, Z. In German, we also have the additional alphabets like umlaut, for example, A umlaut, O umlaut and U umlaut. In the coming sessions, we are going to learn more about these letters. Now, let us see how do we say good morning, good afternoon, good evening and good night in German. So, it goes like this my friends, guten Morgen, guten Tag, guten Abend, guten Nacht. Let us go through them again, guten Morgen, good morning, guten Tag, good afternoon, guten Abend, good evening, guten Nacht, good night, guten Morgen, guten Tag, guten Abend, guten Nacht. Let us see how do we say how are you in German. Well, it depends whether the usage is formal or in an informal manner like amongst family or friends. The basic structure to use is V gates. Yes, you heard it right. It is V gates. There are two ways of how you can respond to this. Either it could be a positive response, that is how you say gut or super. V gates, gut. That means that I am doing well. I am fine, all good at my end. The second option is saying schlecht or nicht gut. Schlecht or nicht gut means I am not doing that well, things are not that smooth. So, wie geht's? Gut, super. Another possibility of answering this question is wie geht's? Schlecht, nicht gut. This is actually a shortened way of answering this question, although the detailed sentence would be. We get as Ihnen and the response is as geht mir gut or the negative response to, to say as geht mir schlecht. So, we get as Ihnen, as geht mir gut, as geht mir schlecht. Dear friends, we must remember that Ihnen is used with people unknown to us, people who are not very close to us or let us say someone up in hierarchy. So, in that case, we will make use of Ihnen. Although with people who are close to us, whom we know very well, like our family, friends, relatives, in that case we make use of dear. 
wie geht es dir? Es geht mir gut. In a similar manner, wie geht es dir? Es geht mir schlecht. There is use with people close to you, friends, family, etc. Therefore, do remember the difference in the use of ihnen and dir. Wie geht's? Es geht mir gut. Wie geht's? Es geht mir schlecht. Or you can simply respond gut or schlecht. People we know that in everyday usage, we do not use the entire sentence. We usually use a word or two. Therefore, both of them are correct in their place. Wie geht's? Gut. Wie geht's? Schlecht. Or you can say the entire sentence. Wie geht es Ihnen? Es geht mir gut. Another possibility. Wie geht es Ihnen? Es geht mir schlecht. With the usage of dear, it is wie geht es dir? Es geht mir gut. Another possibility. Wie geht es dir? Es geht mir schlecht. Now let's see how do we say bye in German. Again, we can divide it into two ways. One is a formal usage and the another one is a, is a informal usage. So in formal context, we usually make use of Auf Wiedersehen. So don't forget at the end of the session when we say Auf Wiedersehen, it should click in your mind what are we indicating at. So Auf Wiedersehen means goodbye in German. Its usage is usually formal and in an informal context we say Tschüss. So Auf Wiedersehen and Tschüss, these are the two bidding farewell words that are mostly used in German. Now let's quickly have a look at what all we have done in this session. So we must understand that learning a language means working on the four basic skills that is listening, reading, speaking and writing. We must never rate things as more important or less important. All the four skills are equally important. Some of the skills can be categorized as active skills and some as passive skills but then they have their own place and importance and all needs to be taken care of well. Factors affecting a foreign language play a crucial role while learning a language. Because we learn a foreign language in an artificial setup that is away from the place where they are usually spoken, so at times there is a lot of troubles that comes up in between. We must understand that we have to put in extra efforts to learn a foreign language because usually we do not find people who can converse with us in that languages. So it happens that at times we want to practice speaking, at times we want to see how we are speaking a particular sentence or structure that we have learned, but many times we will not find the person available who can also converse in that language. Therefore, make the maximum use in your classrooms, converse with your friends, people who are learning the language along with you. And and therefore you can brush up your speaking skills as well. The alphabets in German are quite similar to the alphabets that we have in English, although there are some special alphabets as well like the umlauts and the asset. So let's quickly go through the alphabets again. A, B, C, D, A, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, L, S, T, U, V, V, X, Epsilon, Z. And don't forget the umlaut letters, A umlaut, O umlaut, U umlaut. The greeting words in German are simple. Guten Morgen, good morning. Guten Tag, good afternoon. Guten Abend, good evening. And Guten Nacht, good night. The bidding farewell words are Auf Wiedersehen mostly used in the formal context and choose used in an informal manner. Therefore, these are the simple basic words to begin with. It's important to speak the words clear enough, loud enough to get a good idea of how a particular word needs to be spoken. So people, I hope you have understood the basic greeting words and alphabets in German. In next session, we are going to learn about how to introduce oneself in German. That particular session will consist of simple sentences like telling your name, your place of origin, where do you live currently, your occupation, etc. Well, you will be able to understand the next session only if you have understood the basic simple sentences done in today's session. So kindly revise the matter learned in today's session so that we can go ahead with the next session as well. Okay, people? Jetzt machen wir Schluss. I hope you have understood the things learned in today's session. Vielen Dank. Auf Wiedersehen.